Good morning everyone. Today we are going to plant some tomato plants, two Belgium uh, plants from seed, and some mild um, peppers that my brother wanted to have planted. So let's get to it. So I brought in the two flats of soil. As you can see there's another flat underneath there. And what I'm going to do is plant uh, the peppers my brother wanted to do that. So, and I made up some containers, which should work. Uh, I don't know. We'll see if they're too deep or not. Uh, I tried planting this way last year, uh, and it worked out. And I'll show you the method that I use uh, well with the tomatoes I planted and we're gonna plant one tomato too today because I've been debating and I can't really eat tomatoes but I want uh, at least one tomato plant so all I did was cut off the top of a half gallon milk container this had some chocolate milk in it by the way and uh, so it's pretty deep. Um, they say to use, you know, like a red uh, solo cup when you start out with. But, uh, you know, I always reuse everything that I have around here. And uh, so I just cut the top off. It's pretty deep. And uh, we'll put some soil down below, maybe a quarter of the way. And then plant the seed there. And as a plant grows, uh, you fill the soil around the stem, so the stem acts as a root. Uh, it, it worked out last year. It uh, put roots out from the stem, and um, and it grew out to a nice plant, as you saw last fall. So let me uh, get a scoop of uh, soil and put some in there. So I've put the soil up to about where the uh, white is. That's about a quarter of the way compared to the whole thing. So it's about a quarter of the way and I'll plant two seeds down below. And I'll have to mark these. I want to mark these different if I saved them the right way. Uh, some of these peppers are yellow and some of these are orange colored and I want to kind of keep them separate but they're still the same pepper uh, the same um, uh, brand of pepper it's just a different color I want to see <clears throat> if there's any difference or anything when my brother eats them he said he said there isn't because they came in the same package but uh, let me go get a pepper a couple pepper seeds and uh, well, I'll get the whole plate and show you. So those four or five, uh, that's a seed, I guess. That's the orange ones that came off. And those are the other ones that I have no idea. He cleaned that out himself, so they could be a mixture of everything. But um, at least I know I cleaned at least those four or five out of the uh, red one, red uh tip that was uh, well the orange tip uh, pepper that was still sitting there so I'll put two of these maybe three I'll probably put only two per container and uh, you barely put them underneath the soil that's what I do you just put a, put them just uh, not even an eighth of an inch uh, you just want it barely covered, uh, and they'll and they'll sprout up, hopefully within a week or so. Uh, we'll have to see. Well, instead of using only two, I put all four seeds in that. Uh, I'm not too sure how viable those seeds are, and um, so I put all four. If I get four plants out of it, I do. Um, I'll probably do the same to the other container. Um, 
you know I don't know what's going to germinate what's going to come up so uh, it's better safe to be sorry or safe than sorry than uh, you know putting one or two and not having anything come up than putting you know four in there it has room enough um, and then once they get bigger I'll you know split them off into their own containers um, I might have a bunch of pepper plants this year if I you know grow this many but I got enough seeds um, my mom was talking about growing some out there also uh, she goes oh I'll grow some out here she's got one or two extra pots and oh, she's got a few extra pots actually um, so she might grow some I don't know uh, I can always send some of these uh, over to her so let's make up the other uh, container of uh, peppers so as you can see there's a seed there and all I do is press it down just a little bit and then just barely cover it over and that's it's hard to show you with my hand in there but uh, I'll move it a little bit away more from the side of the container oh probably an inch over and uh, put them all in all four corners and uh, we'll see what happens within uh, well whatever a week or more whenever it uh, wants to germinate there and come up through the soil so I had to put these two seeds on an envelope to show you those are two tomato seeds uh, of their color it's like a kind of brownish grayish and I'm using Belgium giant tomato seeds uh, that's uh, what they are that's what I used last year and they tasted really good uh, but uh, I really can't eat them but I still wanted uh, my fried green tomatoes this year no matter what um, so we'll put those toward the kind of center of the container I mean I just did a scribble there that looks like tomato but uh, so I know what it is um, so I would plant these toward the center and uh, we'll see what happens with them so what I'll do now is just spray all three containers uh, with some water on top get them moist and then put them in the grow box and uh, you know keep them moist uh, I guess check them every other day I don't think I'll have to check them every day but uh, with everything else I don't check every day uh, today I'll check them because I didn't check the uh, plants yesterday and um, so I'll put those in the bottom or the top I think I got room on both basically I don't know which I don't know which ones that they are because they're different containers compared to everything else. So uh, and they'll be marked pretty much. I mean I'm I don't think I'll put anything else in there. I don't know. I'll I'll have to see what else. Maybe if someone sends me some seeds, I can put some more stuff. You know, grow some more stuff in there. But uh, I have to um, think about what else I'll I'll grow because I got time. It it's still not. Um, warm enough out to put anything out yet outside because it's so cold at night you know 30s 40s something like that so now the wait begins to see when they germinate um, I'll mark it uh, down and uh, within seven days it uh, should come up I don't know uh, it's got enough heat in there I would think uh, I'm not going to put the heating pad underneath there again. Uh, it should be warm enough. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, today's vlog. And uh, thanks for watching.